All right, this morning we're going to do a quick video on the Arithabort setting and query speed. Sometimes a debate arises between um, what's happening when uh, a query returns quickly in Management Studio but not in the application. And this is one of those great opportunities for two different departments to blame each other. Okay, And uh, I've seen a lot of debates about this. Uh, there's already a video that I have about fast in the or I'm sorry, fast in management studio, slow in the application. There's a great article um, which I'll link to in the description if I remember. Um, which if you Google, it's the first thing that comes up. However, one of the the in this particular case, it's a little bit different because there was a debate that arose and people were using the article to prove one thing or another. Okay, right off the bat, if it's related to Arithabort, go into management studio, set Arithabort off, and run the query and see what happens. There. Um, you've either confirmed it or haven't. Remember that Management Studio is an application, right? When you're developing a .NET application, you may or may not have set up configurations. Otherwise, it's going to take the defaults, okay? But Management Studio doesn't necessarily take the defaults, okay? So remember that. It is sometimes people act like Management Studio is just this database, and it's like, no, 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 it's an application that connects to databases, right? Just like your application connects to databases. It's a GUI, right? So um, really fast, if the situation you think is related to Arithabort, then run, run the query and see what happens. If it solves the query, there you go. Excellent. You can move on. And debate solved. Um, it's not an issue of blaming someone. It's just, I mean, if you need to add set Arithabort on to your application, then add it. If that's what's going to solve the problem. Okay. For those of you who may wonder, well, what is, what is Arithabort? Uh, what is that setting? It relates to queries that divide by zero or you have mathematical overflows, okay? So if the Arithabort and ANSI warnings are on, if both of them are on, overflow and divide by zero's queries, uh, query terminates. So this is, of course, from Microsoft. If both of those are on, if you end up in a situation where we have overflow or divide by zero query, it's going to terminate. And we'll do a demo in a second about this. Um, if the Arithabort is on and the ANSI warnings are off, the overflow and divide by zero batch will terminate and the transaction will roll back. Now the situation, which is very important, especially in ETL, if both are off, a null becomes the result of the mathematical operation and users uh, see a warning. So let's look at this really fast. So we'll see that in this case, both of our settings are on. In this case, we have Arithabort uh, is on and ANSI warnings and off is off. And in this case, they're both off, right? So if we run this, we expect to get a divide by zero error. And the same thing here as well. We should get a divide by zero error, okay? Well, what about if we run this, okay? What we're going to get is we're going to get a null result and we're going to get a warning, divide by, division by zero occurred, okay? Why is the latter very important? Because there are some ETL processes that you do not want the entire batch to terminate, right? And we can't necessarily control what it's going to be dividing by. There may be zero. So you either have to handle that in with a case win, right? Um, where it's like, okay, case win is zero, then null. Okay, but we could turn both ANSI warnings and Arithabort off, right? And then, of course, it's handled. So there may be a context in which you want to do that. I'm not saying there is, but think about your application because otherwise you're going to have to handle it another way. And I think we've all probably run into a situation in which we were, <laughs> we were doing a division problem and there was a dadgum zero and the whole thing terminated. Uh, it's always a fun experience like, uh, let me guess, there's a zero. And so that's why you have this setting. But when it comes to a debate, about whether it's the Aritha board or not. And I'll give you a related example of where it wasn't. It was fast in Management Studio, slow in the application. Um, we tested the Aritha board setting really quickly, didn't help. Turns out it was using a different plan. In one plan, the statistics objects that it was using was up to date. The other one, it was not. So it was a matter of statistics, right? That can happen as well. Remember that it may not be using the same plan and then you want to dig into why that is. So there's a lot of different things that it could be, but in this case, um, well, in that case, it was the statistics. Sometimes it is the Arithabort. Instead of debating, just quickly determine if that's the setting or if that's the issue or not. And if it isn't, then you can dig in and find if it's something else.